And we would like to, to thank Spectre Development or Spectre Investment Corporation and Mr. Ron Specter, who is allowing us to utilize this location today. And Mr. Specter has endorsed Paul Roy for first selectman here in Seymour. And I would like to take a few moments to read a letter of endorsement by Mr. Specter, if I may. To the residents of Seymour, on behalf of Tritown Plaza LLC, I am enthusiastically supporting Paul Roy in his efforts to become the new first selectman of the town of Seymour. Thus far, I have had several conversations with Ms. Mr. Roy, and we have discussed at length the many issues and challenges we are facing in redeveloping the shopping center. I realize this may be hard to imagine, but Mr. Roy has already invested more time and effort in trying to understand the issues than the current first selectman has during the past six years. I appreciate Mr. Roy's desire to work openly and honestly to address the obstacles we face and believe that this kind of cooperation, which has so long eluded us, with this cooperation, we can finally succeed in redeveloping Tritown Plaza to bring more business and investment into the town of Seymour. With regard to the current administration, I have provided transcripts of the most recent court hearing to the local press. It is my opinion that First Selectman Kuskalowski and Town Council Temple have misrepresented their actions to the press and to the residents of Seymour. Their statement that they do not know who owns Tritown Plaza was untruthful. Their statement that I sought the delay was untruthful. Their subsequent statement that the judge withdrew himself from the case due to a conflict was untruthful. The residents of Seymour are entitled to the truth and some sort of accountability from its elected officials. If the first selectman and the town attorney are not and will not answer why they chose to delay the hearing yet again, then perhaps a reasonable question would be, who is benefiting from it? Because it is certainly not the taxpayers. I am anxious to invest in Tritown Plaza and the town of Seymour, but the risks are too great when my efforts are constantly met with conflict and con confrontation rather than discussion and cooperation. Neither Mr. Kuskalowski nor Mr. Temple have done anything to assist me in my efforts to upgrade the plaza and attract new business. I have met personally with Paul Roy and feel confident that we will be able to work together. And you have my commitment that we will work together to negotiate an end to the wasteful and unending litigation and recommit ourselves to bringing more business to, to the town of Seymour and diversify and expand our tax base. This alone will enable Seymour to lower taxes for all its residents while at the same time having the revenues necessary to invest in Seymour's future. What's more, I fervently believe that Mr. Roy will always make his decisions based upon what is good for the town rather than what may benefit his own personal interests. Paul Roy will be good for Seymour, so please get out and support him and vote for him. Seymour's future depends on it. Sincerely, Ron Spector, Tritown Class. Once again, we want to work, and Paul Roy wants to work with Mr. Spector and other developers in Seymour to bring renewed development to this plaza. At this time, I would like to introduce the Democratic Town Committee Chairperson, Steve Kulas, who is going to make a presentation. Thank you, Fred, and thank you, Paul, for allowing me to be here today. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, again, I am the town chairman, and before I make the presentation, just have a few comments to make about economic development. In a recent article in one of the local papers, our first selectman was quoted that he didn't mind having vacant buildings in town, because the landowners pay taxes anyways. Well, I'll leave aside the ability of a landowner who can't rent his building to pay those taxes, but the people of Seymour should also be aware that in commercial buildings, the property inside the buildings are taxed as well. Myself as a small business owner in town has to fill out a form every November to be taxed. Look at the emptiness of this building we're here. Imagine if it was filled with products, the increase in our taxes and the less taxes to the people of Seymour. Look at the emptiness of New Haven Copper. Imagine if that was filled with machinery and the increase in our taxes and the less taxes to the people of Seymour. Look at the vacant lot where Seymour Lumber once stood and imagine that filled with lumber and building material and the increase in taxes to the town and less taxes to the town people. How can anyone be a responsible leader and say he's satisfied with vacant buildings in our town? That is totally wrong and we need a change. We need someone who will actively 
fill those vacancies to lower the taxes on our residents. And that man is Paul Roy. Paul's campaign has been making a stir throughout the state. And in fact, I was pleased to receive a letter Mon uh, Friday from the Connecticut State Democratic Office from our chairman, Nancy DiNardo, who says, Dear Paul, I have enclosed a donation for your campaign. From my experience as a Democratic town chairperson for Trumbull, I know that every donation helps in the final days of the campaign. We as a party have significant challenges ahead of us at the local and state and federal level. Your success on November 3rd is the first step in laying groundwork for future success and finally getting a Democrat elected as governor. Please do not hesitate to contact me if there's anything I can help you do to help you towards a resounding victory on Election Day. And sincerely, Nancy DiNardo, Chairwoman of the Connecticut State Democratic Party. Send my own best wishes and good luck to Paul. And if we all keep working, I'm sure we can get Paul elected, and these vacant buildings in town will be filled. Thank you. Thank you very much, Steve, for those needed comments of what Seymour really needs in the next two years with Paul Bloy as our next first selectman. At this time, we would like to introduce our state representative, Teresa Conroy, who has been a fresh voice for Seymour and for our Democratic Party in Hartford. And Teresa has been working hard with the State Department of Economic and Community Development. And I know that she has some important information to share with us this afternoon. Teresa. Thank you, Mr. Sandy. I'm honored to be here today um, to be with Paul and support him. Paul was behind me last year when I first started to, my campaign to run and stepped forward to be my campaign manager. When he announced this year that he wanted to run, I made the decision to be wholeheartedly invested in his campaign. I'm his campaign treasurer, and I just know that Paul is the right person to be our first, next first selectman. Paul has strong characteristics that we really are looking for in this town. Um, time and time again, people have said to me, we need more transparency. I can't, I can't have a voice in the town as it stands right now. When I go to a town meeting, there's a lot of yelling and screaming from our current first selectman. Paul is someone that is open, he's honest. I'm sure that people that have been um, meeting with him out on the streets have all come back to me and said, you know, he seems like he's the right guy. When I go around to see businesses now, they said, you know, I think Paul's going to be our next first selectman. We need someone like him in office. Paul and I have sat down several times throughout this campaign um, to start coming up with the vision that I was running on my platform last year, but to have Paul with me linked up this year will be crucial. We're standing here in a vacant building, and I know I don't want to sound redundant on, on the taxes that we can bring in, but, you know, there's also job opportunities here. When we have stores, they're usually manned by, you know, our teenagers, our college students. Right now, they're having to go out of the area to go find a job. The cost of gas is prohibitive. Um, by having places here, it'll be a resource right here for our own kids and the young adults growing up. Um, we all know that the um, unemployment rate is, is up and a lot of kids can't go and find jobs. So it's important that we have these spots right here in our own town where they can travel to and be a part of our community, where they're not leaving this community to go out and look other places, because we want to keep our kids here too. So with Paul, I'm looking forward to doing more of an economic development. I've met with the state, as I've said before. Um, Paul is the person to be a negotiator for this town. He has the business sense, he's had a union background, and he knows how to do negotiations. So we need to have Paul in here to make a win-win situation, and not just to turn off any future developers that come into our town. So Paul, I am more than happy to have you be our next first selectman. And I can't wait to be Thank you.